This has, this episode today, we're going to be um, taking you through setting up of a home camera as well as one camera just to try to start getting some testing on how these cameras work as well as linking up the solar panels just to try to understand how the camera works, how's the battery life, and what the quality of pictures we're going to be getting both from a night and a daytime version. So we're going to put a little bag of corn out there and see if we can lure a few critters in here to get some good pictures. Yeah, so today the rubber hits the road on these cuttybacks and uh, stay with us and watch the rest of this episode. Hi, this is Tim and Dole. Welcome to Midwest Hunting and Outdoors by Two Dumbasses, a podcast about the outdoors, hunting, and, and being a steward of the land. Welcome to Midwest Hunting and Outdoors by Two Dumbasses. Uh, this is season three, episode five. Five episodes already in 2022. So today, Tim, the rubber's hitting the road and we're putting cameras out and uh, let's walk, walk our uh, audience through that. So we're gonna do a step-by-step. -step. So the very first thing we're gonna do is, is set up our home camera. Where you set up that home camera is pretty important because you want it to be at a fairly decent elevation so that you're getting good signal out. And I think I have a pretty good location set up. You'll soon see, and we'll, as we, we will as well. And then we're gonna set up one other camera out by one of my favorite hunting places for, for late season. And uh, it's where my food plot is right now. So we're gonna put out a little corn, test that out. But hopefully my plan is, is that camera and that home camera will be in close enough proximity to where I'll get a good linkage, and that's the plan. So stay tuned with us, because that's where we're headed. Tim, remind me again, um, Cuddy Back is saying that the distance between the home and the cameras can be how far apart? Max? So they say quarter mile in heavy woods and up to a mile plus in open field. And so where we're gonna be putting this is pretty much open field. So I'm expecting I could, I'm hoping I can get at least a half mile. I think we're probably looking at probably a third of a mile of a distance from where it's at. So we're gonna find out if that's satisfactory. Yeah, yeah I think this first camera, like you said, is pretty line of sight. I think the challenge is gonna be on the other three once you get into your woods and the hills and start linking but them. That, that's, that's all part of the, you know, that's all part of this is make sure it's uh, good to go. So awesome. So in our next episode after this, we should have some pictures and we'll have a review on how it's performing and then we'll go to set up the daisy chain. Yeah, so stay with us. Um, we're gonna include in this episode that setup of that home and that first camera and then we'll come back and close that out. So I appreciate you watching. Yep. All right, Joel, we're down here. Uh, we're close to a, one of our ponds. And uh, for some of our subscribers who may have seen this, this is, uh, this, this box here is where you and I actually put together a solar powered uh, aeration system for the pond and it's probably one of our biggest biggest episodes for people to watch so this is a nice high level high level uh, spot from an elevation perspective so what we're going to do is set our home camera here it's not very far from my house by me walking here it's not going to disturb any hot wildlife and then what we're gonna do is uh, put another camera right down over here, probably quarter to a half a mile, quarter to a third of a mile away. So that's, that's what our next steps are. So first step is, is we are going to mount the camera. So this is south right over here. So, and that's where we have this solar panel aiming. It's not gonna be exact, but it's gonna be close enough. So this is where we're gonna put our camera. So I'm using their, their genius uh, quick disconnect system. I'm gonna put it right around, right around here, hook this up, and that's pretty well set. And then the next step is we're gonna mount our home camera right here. So I believe this is gonna fit right on. Okay. So this is the home camera again. It's not a can, not a, uh, not a camera per se and this fits right on there so very slick and it's going to be super easy for me to to check on 
All right, so the first, what we're gonna do now is set this camera up to be our home camera. Again, it's not a camera, it's just a home repeater. But you go up here and you hit mode, and we wanna to get to mode to commands. Then the next thing is, is we get down to more. So we start to push this more to get down to link menu. So once we get to link menu, we push up, whoops, and we get to home. Once we get to home, we want to set that up, and we set that up by confirming right here. The next, once you hit that back button, this, this more button, the next thing it's asking us to do is to set up a link location. Your home camera is always your 001. Save yourself some, some headaches by doing that. So we're gonna set that up as 001. So I'm gonna back up and press more one more time and that's all set up. So after we've set up our link location to 001, the next thing is, is just to hit, hit more one time and it starts to take you back to nodes. Hit one more time and you see link channel. And so what we're gonna set up our channel is, is 0102. And you have to select one number for each of those two digits and that's what we're gonna do, 0102. We'll hit more one more time. And you can change that by going up and down, but that's what we're setting it to. And that's that. So the next step on this is, is we've got to set this camera and arm it. And so to do that, you go to mode, hit arm, and confirm. Hang on. Arming. It's arming. So now we have a 29 second dwell time before those cameras start to uh, take pictures, which we don't have any cameras set up with this. But as of right now, this, cam this home camera is set up to go. Our next step we're gonna do is, is we're gonna put a solar panel onto this just to maintain battery and further our tests. So our next step is these Cuddy Back, Cuddy Back, Cuddy Link uh, solar panels we're gonna put on. We've mounted this We've mounted this bracket that they provide for it. It's got a lot of movement so you can get it to just right. This is already facing south, so it just makes sense for us to follow that same trajectory. Even though we're in the winter, we're getting probably about four hours of sunlight. Uh, every little bit helps. As we mentioned before, it's got a battery pack already built in here. And so what we're gonna do is assemble this, and then the next step is we'll start to plug it right into the camera. The last piece we're doing before we have this this home camera completely set up is we're going to connect it to the solar panel. There's two modes. One mode charges the batteries inside the bank. And this is a D. These are all D batteries and there's not a lot of great D rechargeable batteries out there except for those that are made in China. And if you've looked at our other episode on rechargeable batteries, you'd see those batteries in China aren't made very well. With that, uh, we are going to use the battery bank that came with the Cuddy Back Cuddy Link cameras, and we're going to use it to charge those batteries in the back of this solar panel to power this. And then the D batteries that are in in the home camera will serve as backup when those batteries deplete. It's really an ingenious system. One little note here is, is these little plugs that come out, they do have threads on them, but the best way is, is just grab yourself a little set of pliers, grab the lip and gently pull it out and they'll come out pretty easy. So with that, we're gonna now set up this camera and you use for mode one, the brown, the brown connections, which is what we're gonna do. And what's really nice is it fits in there really nice and seals it all up. And then over here on the solar panel, again, you have the yellow and the yellow and brown mode. We're staying with the brown mode. And we pulled that plug out. And it is set up. And now all we're going to do is zip tie this tight so it's not just sitting out there and this is ready to go. Stay tuned for the next camera setup. All right, so the last we left you, uh, we were setting up our cameras and it got too dark to shoot. So. We're at next day, um, and you can see there's a lot of snow on the ground, so there's lots happened since we've done this. 
but we are setting up our second remote camera and uh, this one does not have a solar panel and this is one uh, that I purchased from my neighbor it's got uh, 12 AA batteries so we're gonna skip taking you through setting up the clock setting up the clock and the time because you've already seen that but the next thing we're gonna do is is we need to make sure for where we have this that we're getting a signal from our home camera so we're gonna go through that then the next step is we're gonna set this up as a remote camera and uh, and then we're ready to go. We're going to set this all up. So the very first thing to set this up is a remote camera. You hit mode until we get to the command settings. So we're at commands right now. The next thing we do is go to more. And more we have to get to the link menu. So we're now at the link menu. And now we push up. And, and we are basically pushing it up until we get to remote. And once we get to remote, we hit more to set this in. So it's now a remote camera. The next thing we're doing is setting up a location number. So this is our third camera. So this will be 003. So we go over to up. And our this camera is now our third camera, so it's CL003. Now we hit back, and now we have to set a settings, and these are our set a channel. And this channel is going to be 01, 02, as all the other ones. Back, now we have this, this link center, then we have link level. And link level is what's telling us hey do we have a good signal so this can take up to a couple of minutes to do we're gonna go and we're gonna give it time to find out what it comes out to and it's again trying to either communicate to the remote camera or the home camera so let's see what it comes out to oh we're at 82 and good so this camera is set to go the next thing we have to do is arm the camera so to arm the camera we go back into mode until we get to arm it's arming right now 29 seconds and this camera will be armed welcome back um, thanks for sticking with us I hope some of that video uh, helps you set up your camera and develop that network of uh, cutty back links out there Tim how did how did that go for you you really did all the work I was behind the behind the scenes here well you know I mean I think once you I mean doing it together definitely helps and you reading out through the instructions the instructions are really done pretty well and then once you I had learned by doing so once you do it once I think it, it gets pretty easy I so I've now set up a home camera and two cameras I feel like I've got it pretty well the the menu is really not that tricky and um, so yeah, I'm pretty happy so far yeah it looked like Again, just from an observation standpoint, if you can get to the right menu, commands in this case, um, if you use that back button, um, which I think is more, more, yep. that takes you back just one screen, and that's really all you were doing is going back one screen into channel link or channel set and then channel level and whatever, um, versus having to go all the way back and all the way back in. Um, it's, that seemed pretty... You know a couple of a couple of quick learnings you know with that is is so we've said like i said we've set up two remote cameras one it's a 12 AA, and the other one's 4d battery and then the home camera and all j series is i'm pretty happy with how they distance wise on how far they're communicating like this last one we put up it's it's going over a hill through some woods and it's our highest reception yet. It's at 82%. So I was pretty happy with that. Yeah, if I was going to guess, I'm guessing that that remote camera 003 that we just put up from home is probably a good 600 yards, you know, over a quarter of a mile. Over a quarter of a mile. I'm yeah, maybe guessing. More, maybe even more. Maybe more. 
And it's really not any closer to camera, remote camera 002, but yet the reception was like 80 some percent or 90 percent. So, yeah, so far, and again, we're pretty wide, it's, it is wide open. So um, that's going to be interesting when we, you set up these other ones um, and, and we get trees in the way and, and other things in the way, well, how that's going to look. But so far, knock on wood, so it's all good, right? All good. Yeah, and the last camera we did not put solar on, so we're going to test that for battery usage. Um, I'm going to go in a little more for... So after it turned dark, as you guys saw... Um, we left one home camera and a other battery, uh, excuse me, and another remote camera linked up. And a couple of learnings just pass on is uh, thumbnails. So the way the remote cameras work is, is they take a higher resolution picture based upon your settings. And what they will do is, is transmit to the home camera a thumbnail. So that was further into the into the manual and we hadn't got that far but we were seeing it and so after we went and read up a little further we saw that that's what was happening um so but the thumbnails that it's transmitting about 20 30 kilobytes um are certainly enough detail for us to tell what the animal is there's another thing that we're going to explore a little bit is is there's um, multiple options for flash we'll talk about that later right now our cameras are set up on black flash um, we'll talk like I said we'll talk that further I want to go back dig into the modes for solar so in our previous episode we did one one of our previous episodes we talked about unboxing for solar there being two modes the first mode being there's an opportunity to put two banks of six units of batteries for 7.2 volts um, and you can double that so you know 14 and a half volts on the back of those solar uh, those solar panels and um, right now I have one set in each in each of those and the second mode charges to an external battery pack not to the camera so in order to use that mode two you would have to go out and buy the external battery pack for the Cuddy. Right now, I am thinking that's not going to be needed. Because, I mean, how we're testing these cameras right now is the most adverse conditions. Limited daylight because it's winter. Cold temperatures. And uh, we're also dumping bags of corn feed in front of these things. So... We are taking multitudes of pictures. And again, we'll talk more about that in our next episode. But some uh, learnings coming through for sure. I think that was a good good clarification. That was not what I think when we unboxed it and set it up, what we were um, thinking mm -hmm. at the time. But that's clearly what it states uh, in, in the manual. And I think it's important. I mean, we're so we have a couple cameras out there. We'll do a performance review you know, after a few weeks, and we'll talk about what some of our learnings are. And then we'll also come back and talk about some advanced settings. And I think after we get a little bit more performance, we'll start to explore these settings and, and do some further episodes on that. Yeah, any key learnings uh, so far that we can, you know, share with our audience? Uh, you know, one thing that I really loved is when you go to the home camera and you pull out the SD card and you go to check what's on that SD card, it gives you a status update of every camera that's in your network. I really like that. It tells you battery life, how many pictures taken for each of those. So that was a kind of a key learning for me, which I really like. The one con I will say about the, about the uh, home camera is in order to get to the SD card, you've got to unplug the solar to unscrew the compartment to pull off the SD card. And you've got to do that every time. And the biggest concern I have about that is, is that repetition and motion and pulling out uh, degrades both the cable and potentially the fastener. That's the only con I can say so far. Yeah, and I'm sure they do that to seal that thing up. I mean, it's... 
as tight as anything that I've seen from a trail camera standpoint, but uh, we'll see what it looks like over time. They're, they're absolutely well made. I'm, I'm super impressed so far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll try to include um, that report that you were talking about, camera report, with this um, in this episode. Um, I think there was a key learning around the snow is beautiful, but snow mixed with solar panels, um, if it's sticky, is, is a problem. Because you, you had some buildup of snow on your solar panels, to, um, and we got pretty low on energy, right? Yeah, so I had to go out and uh, pass that, push all that off. And I had, again, the home camera and then remote one, actually remote two camera. Um, I had to go and brush off all the ice and snow and allow that to melt off so that we could again start to charge the charge the batteries. Yeah. Good point, Jake. Yeah. Anything else? Nope. What? Yeah, so, you know, we encourage you to, you know, watch this episode, and we've, we've actually got a playlist, and we'll attach that um, at the end of this episode on, we, we call it our trail camera series. If you want to go back and look at some of our previous videos, we'd encourage you to do that. However, we've, we've plugged this a couple times. The next episode on this series, the Cuddyback series, is really going to dive deep into some of the functionality. And we're going to give it a little more time here to uh, check some of the cameras and, and the ins and outs, different flash settings, whatnot. And uh, so we plan on coming back in the next episode on the Cuddyback series with uh, a lot of ammunition and a lot of data. Also, uh, I just thought of this, is uh, we just set up today um, our Super Bowl challenge. So... What we're doing is, is uh, we have eight cameras out there right now where we're going to be doing a test. So stay tuned for, for that series of videos and where we're evaluating the performance of some new, new cameras that's in our arsenal. It's going to be fun. It was fun last year. I think we're um, a step ahead from last year, and I'm excited to see what uh, we come out with. Absolutely. And then lastly, I, we really appreciate you as viewers. Don't forget to hit that subscribe if you like what we're doing. It really helps us out. Yeah, but until then, be, be safe, safe, have fun, and, and get, get outdoors. Thanks for listening or watching our show. We have some exciting topics and guests coming up. We ask that you subscribe to our channel on YouTube and follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. We look forward to hearing your suggestions for topics, questions, and comments. This is Two Dumbasses signing off. Until next time, be, be safe, safe, have, have fun, fun, and, and get, get outdoors. outdoors.